I'm often asked the question, what are the potential ways that a domestic violence case could conclude? A domestic violence case in Ohio usually starts with actually two charges, domestic violence and assault, and they usually charge them both at the same time. Now, some people misread that to mean that you could be found guilty of both and do time on both, but for the purposes of sentencing, any sentence that might be imposed is merged. But in the course of negotiations, it's very common for a prosecutor, depending on someone's specific circumstances, to amend or reduce the charge in some way. Common reductions are from a domestic violence and assault to dismissing the domestic violence. The advantage to that is that in the state of Ohio, domestic violence is not a sealable or expungible offense, meaning you can't ever have it removed from public record. And for some of those that are seeking certain types of employment or licensure or currently have certain licensure, that can be devastating, including people with immigration issues. If they dismiss the domestic violence and you're left with the assault, there is a punishable range of up to six months, but the benefit to an assault is it is a sealable or expungible offense, and you can remove it one year from the close of the case. Another common reduction from a domestic violence assault charge is dismissing the domestic violence and amending the assault down to what's called a criminal mischief. Now that's a very mid-level misdemeanor charge. It's only punishable up to 60 days in jail. That does not mean you're even gonna serve a day of that. It's just the maximum sentence that you can receive. Now, this has advantages and disadvantages. The advantages, once again, it's a sealable, expungible offense. Your potential for jail liability goes down significantly. The disadvantages is that criminal mischief is what they call an enhanceable offense. So if you are ever to be charged with domestic violence again in the future, it is no longer a misdemeanor. It can become a felony. And that can have obviously even more serious or profound effects on someone. Another common reduction from that is one step lower uh, from criminal mischief down to what's called a disorderly conduct misdemeanor of the fourth degree. And there's actually two different types of disorderly conducts. One is the misdemeanor of the fourth degree. The other one is a minor misdemeanor. Uh, the misdemeanor of the fourth degree is a jailable offense. The benefit, once again, is that it's a sealable and expungible offense. And although punishable up to 30 days, it's pretty unlikely, given you don't have some serious criminal history, that most judges will impose much of a sentence on that. Certainly, they have the ability to do so. The benefit to a minor misdemeanor disorderly conduct is it's not a jailable offense. It's a sealable offense, just like the other charges, uh, but it's only punishable up to a $150 fine. So that's the array of different potential plea negotiations you might enter into. The last of which would be just dismissing the case. 